maybe I'll just talk to you for a little while and you can judge for yourself. Um, when they first locked me up, um, I was, I of course was in shock. I had been assaulted. I had a seizure. Everything in my life, I was put out on the street and, and I was told repeatedly by my ex-husband that nothing belonged to me. So of course you're now gonna have anxiety. When I went in and I talked to these psychologists at Hutchins in Syracuse, they said I had pressured speech. Now, pressured speech is gonna happen if you, if um, I was trying to get my dog back. I, my stuff was in storage. Time was of the essence. So of course you're gonna talk in a rapid manner. I was putting things together. Things weren't not mis, you know, not put together. Things were put together. There wasn't, you know, things that didn't go together. Things did go together. I talked about my storage unit. I talked about the timely manner I had to get my dog because my dog was in danger. I talked about the domestic violence. I talked about being sexually assaulted. So as I was talking about these things, these two psychologists sit there and they look at you like you're auto they're automatically writing up that you don't make sense, which is what they told me repeatedly. Don't listen to her. She makes up sexual assaults. She's delusional. Okay. So after you do this to a person just so long, and they took everything with no remorse, this Melissa, the aides, the social workers, they made fun of me. They stood there around and said, oh, it's no big deal. You lose 20 years of your assets. I have portfolios in there for myself to get work. That was, that was my career. They knew that. These graphic artists here like Thane and Eggleston and Oya Sheka. I, I know all these women. They're vicious. You know, they're graphic. I had a career. Okay. And they knew that. And this is what they do. Oh, Megna's, uh, Gina Megna's son now has an advertising agency, but none of these fucking women knew what I do. Now they put you on the street. You're so dirty. Look at my nails. So of course you're going to look like a mentally ill person. I mean, I have no clothes. My clothes are filthy, dirty. I haven't had a shower in two weeks. I've been attacked repeatedly. I'm filthy, dirty. I can't go to the bathroom. So how do you think you're supposed to fucking look? And women like Cheryl Sparks and all these uh, nurses over there, another Spencer, Elizabeth Spencer, that told me I made up the sexual assault, that there was no party on the lake. This is the filth you have going, and her mother. Don't even let me get me started on Arlene Spencer because she was over at Mount Loretta with her filthy shit. There's like a Spencer at every fucking municipality in this city doing this filthy dirt. So now, of course you look like a mentally ill person. Of course you look like you, you're incompetent, which is what they go around and say. So I'll just keep posting these videos and you can decide for yourself what's going on here. St. Mary's is a horrible place. I don't recommend anybody going in there. Be safe out there, guys. It, it, it's just disgusting here.